So when I was fresh out of high school, I made this account where I did Pokemon videos with my friends. And I got a few views and whatnot, and I decided I would just upload it all here in one video for y'all to enjoy. The concept was basically what if Trainer Red from the first Pokemon game was a crocodile hunter with a shitty accent. And it was not good then, and it does not hold up now. But uh, hey, enjoy. Okay, here we are, Trainer Red in the tall grass. Today we are going to be looking at the baby wild Bulbasaur. Here we can see he is nice and calm, but if I get closer, he may attack. No! <laughs> Don't forget to bring your sick or injured Pokemon to your local Poke Center. And now we return to Trainer Red, Pokemon Hunter. Alright, here you can see the baby Bulbasaur that I tried to catch in the previous video. I'm back again to get revenge for that solar beam blast. Let's go. Let's try to remain quiet while we approach the vicious Pokemon. Meow. I don't have any Pokemon with me to battle other than my Feraligator, and I'm going to save him for later, so when he catches Pokemon without entering a battle. There are many ways to do this. When I was in the Safari Zone, I learned a few tricks. You see, a rock, such as this one here, can be found anywhere on the ground, outside. Now, you, you take the rock, and you throw it at the Pokemon, you can knock it unconscious if it is small enough. Now, we're going to aim for the bulb on that Bulbasaur's back. Hopefully, that will knock the Pokemon unconscious. Let's go. I hear a Blaziken. It might give us away. We have to be quick. I hit the Bulbasaur and it's now unconscious. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a Pokeball out of my bag here. You see, this is a Pokeball. We use them for catching Pokemon. I'm gonna take this Pokeball and I'm gonna throw it at the unconscious Bulbasaur. Now, most trainers, once the opponent becomes unconscious, will actually leave it there. This is bad for the environment and bad for the Pokemon. So I suggest capture it right away so it does not come to any further harm. Go. I just caught that Bulbasaur. Now I'm going to teach you how to cook Bulbasaur nice and fresh. Don't forget trainers, you can pick up your own Pokeballs at your local Pokemart for your own adventures. And now back to Trainer Red, Pokemon Hunter. Oh, hello and welcome to Red's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this Bulbasaur, which I just caught, into a healthy, nutritious Bulbasaur salad. Now you can see we already start by some Blossakin that caused us a little trouble earlier, and now we're moving on to the main course. Now, you see you want to turn it on its side, take the knife and... You may want to look up here for a bit. Neil, you got a beautiful looking salad right here. Just gotta put it into the bowl. Mmm, that's sexy. With a little ranch dressing, this will be amazing. Next time on Trainer Red Pokemon Hunter, Red goes after an Eevee. Hello there, Trainer Red. I was going after this Eevee, but then I got lost in the woods. So now I'm going to give you some survival tips on how to get out of the woods. Step one, make sure you don't get lost. I'm lost. Now, when you're in the woods, water is probably going to be easy to come by, but not as much as food will be. The most important thing to look for is food. Now, food comes in many forms. Berries, mushrooms, wild steaks. Now, Wait, I think I see a mushroom right over there. Come with me, camera. 
This is a royal life mushroom. Okay, you gotta harvest it. Let's take your knife, which you clearly have because you're lost in the woods by accident. You open up your knife. You just harvest in the mushroom. Eat the top only. Give me a second. Cherries. Now that you've had your food, put the extra part into your bag which you clearly have with your pet Bulbasaur named Salad and let's go. Seems there'll be a trail right there covered in Bulbasaur, no! Heat exhaustion has taken the Bulbasaur, which doesn't make much sense because it's winter. Gotta get him to safety soon. Follow me. It's real up ahead. That's a nice thing I'll wear out of this mist. Whoa. Whoa. 
now, you're probably exhausted from all that limboing. This is where the other half of that mushroom comes in handy. Don't look at the face as you eat it, otherwise you might cry. <sighs> Alas, I have stumbled across some natural growing water. This will help me to stay my way across the rest of this land to reach the town and eventually the Pokemon Center. I'm very lucky that I haven't run across any Pokemon willing to attack me in this tall grass. Also very unfortunate, I still haven't found that EB. Good news! We made it out of the tall grass! Civilization lies just ahead! Of course, I want you to see this. This is where we grow berries. Berries can be used for all sorts of things, from reviving your Pokemon, to healing it from a burn, to restoring its health. But well, as you can see, no trainer has been here in a while to plant any berries. Probably because spring is just sorting. We're going to go around it because it can tend to be a little muddy. survive in the woods. We successfully made it back to the Pokemon Center. Until next time, thanks for watching. Alright, today we're going to try to catch another wild Bulbasaur. The last one was really delicious. We're going to try to catch another one. notice me yet. This is good. Okay. Hello, Trainer Red here to tell you about Mankeys. There are a pig monkey Pokemon that live in the trees and they are very quick to anger so they go completely happy one moment and mad at you the next. Now I'm going to teach you how to blend in with the Mankeys. See if you find a tree like this one where there might be Mankeys around and then you grab hold of the branches and start swinging like a monkey. So you're swinging like this and eventually the Mankeys will come to you and they'll not expect you to be human at all. Pokeball, go! Wait, what? Ugh! Trainer Red, the Pokemon Hunter. Today I just looked up some information on Psyduck, and if you look closely, there's a baby midget one right over there. Now, we'll try to catch this one. It should be fairly easy given its size. The strength of the impact was too much for the small baby Psyduck. Dead. Rest in peace, my buddy. Hello, Trainer Red here to show you what happens when you try to cook Charizard. Turns into fire. Good thing we got marshmallows though. We're all good. Hello, Trainers. Here we are, Trainer Red, telling you about little Pokemon known as Chikorita. It's a small grass type that enjoys bathing in the sun. 
and they have a little leaf on their head and those beady red eyes stare directly into your soul. Now, the best way to capture Chikorita is with a regular ball and since they're so to the low level, all you gotta do is throw and hope you hit it. I have caught the Chikorita, it was that simple. Moving on. Welcome back to Trainer Red Pokemon Hunter. We just caught a Chikorita and now we're going to check these wild marshlands for some water type Pokemon. Water type I find in this area most often is the Vaporeon. It's a water type that's commonly mistaken for a mermaid because of its ribbed fish tail. Let's go hunting. <gasps> I think I just found a Vaporeon right over there. Going to get closer. to make a contract. Yes. If you reject the faith just this once, the gates of heaven will forever be closed to you. Do you accept? I accept. Then we have a deal. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. I don't buy you though. <laughs> Ready? It's going. Oh my god! It's going. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. Hello kids, welcome to another episode of Trainer Red. Today we're trying out a new game I just discovered about 5 seconds ago called Pokemon Go and I'm already level 7. Let's get started. Alright folks, I just caught a drowsy with a combat power of 179 the second I stepped out my door. It was an intense battle, but I threw a curveball and I finally got it. I only wasted 23 Pokeballs on it. If you keep trying like that, you too can become a Pokemon Master in just a couple of days. Right now we're going down this road heading south, trying to find some super rare Pokemons. Let's go. I just came across a wild Pidgey in front of my neighbor's house. I'm going to try to capture it if I can. Oh, 
Where'd you get a little Pidgey? I'm gonna get this Pokemon, just trust me. Too much of a glare. He caught it. I caught the Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go. I just found the crab, it's right over there. I'm going to try and catch it now, best I can. It's combat power of 56. Stop rolling, little Pokeball. Come on. Do your little shaky shaky. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on! The Pokeball froze, Red. Well, I guess that's all for today. I can't catch any Pokemon. <laughs>
Well, we traveled a little north and we had traveled a little east, and we didn't find any Pokemon of note other than a couple of Rattatas and a Pidgey. So join us next time on Trainer Red, Pokemon Hunter, when after he does his stupid stuff, I teach you how to throw a curveball and catch any Pokemon you want. Wheel pulse, a rain all day, going to places I don't know, and I didn't catch a single meter ran. Now I'm going to need that map because I got no idea where I am. I would also like to thank my helpful helper here who holds the camera, Trainer Savvy.